Hello boys and girls, uh, welcome to a review of Specky Tape on the iPad or iPhone or iPod or whatever other iDevice you may have for loading games into the uh, Sinclair Spectrum uh, via the ear in which the Plus 2 doesn't have by default but I've hacked one together but that's another story this is simply to show you the specky tape working. Uh, so I'll fire stuff up. Hopefully. Oh, there we go. Uh, that's going to 48k basic. And that's J load. Quotation, quotation. There we go. Lovely. And specky tape on the iPad in this particular instance. So we'll open that. Find something that's 48k. What have we got that everybody knows? Um, anti tack will do. Anti tack TZX. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. Three segments. It's a TZX. So we'll press enter and the Sinclair is waiting. Volume's on full on the iPad, so we shall press play. And we have live. Now anybody who remembers the old Spectrum will know it's quite a slow loading procedure from cassette. And this is no different at all. It will load cassettes in at exactly the same speed as what they were originally, even though it's uh, loading a TZX, which presumably it converts on the fly to um, an audio file of some description. As I said, the Plus 2 doesn't have an audio in. It has an audio out, which is there somewhere. Uh, for connecting to uh, a stereo or whatever Amstrad envisioned. Uh, usually you load stuff through a cassette deck. The cassette deck still powered up, but I hate them and I don't want to use it because they're horrible. Um, I don't know how long Antitac takes to load, but I'll just keep jibber jabbering on for a bit. Uh, Specky Tape is available on the uh, App Store, it's free. You load it up, or download it rather, you open it up with a little plus in this corner, press plus, and you type in the name of any file that you want, and it will search a library of many thousands of games, demos, utilities, cover tapes, and various other bits and bobs. Even relatively modern demos are on there, although there are quite a few new demos which it doesn't let you load for some reason, I don't know why. There's also lots of Russian stuff on there, uh, which occasionally it doesn't let you load either. I don't know why. They seem to be um, barred for some reason, I don't know why. The Spectrum, like I say, is loading through an audio jack here, directly soldered to the motherboard. Uh, when I get um, a 3.5mm socket, I'll uh, panel fit one to the side or back somewhere, and... Um, just use a normal um, mono 3.5mm uh, jack to jack and use that to load stuff. As you can see, there's a Amiga 4000 there, which is an 040. Needs recapping, not done that yet. That's one of many, many jobs that needs to be done. I will do that sometime before I you know, die. We have an Apple Platinum, Apple 2 Platinum missing one or two keys, although I've pulled a couple off to try and find substitutes, which I can't. In the background there, there's a uh, Apple II disk drive with the top off, because I'm forever cleaning it, because I'm using 30-year-old disks, which it doesn't like very much. Three Commodore 64 cartridges there, one will be an action replay, one's a final cartridge, and one is something else. KCS, I think. And we have a load of stuff here. Various box Amiga software, hard drives, Amiga hard drives, SCSIs. We have a 
uh, zip drive there, which I do use for copying stuff to the 4000, or I will do when I eventually put it back together. 1581 Commodore 35 inch disk drive, a couple of more disk drives for the Apple, a C64, the, uh, the foreign white one, uh, German I think it is. Uh, quite nice in one actually. Oh. Oh, a couple of MIG 1000s. One's not really a 1000. TR99, a couple of Mac 2s. A power pack in a state of disrepair because I'm converting it for some bizarre reason. A BBC, a MIG 3000, which I'm rebuilding the power pack for. Still not done that. A couple of Spectrums, one's a 128. That's about that, about it. But here we have a fully loaded Antitac. Via Specky Tape took you tell me three minutes or so, probably the same as it takes from cassette. Uh, are you a boy or a girl? Good question. Boy, probably. After a long journey, blah blah blah. And there we go. Don't know how to work it. No idea how to work it. But there we go anyway. It loads. So back to Specky Tape, we'll just um, go back, that's plus if you want to add new software, you type it in there and it finds stuff, cancel that, select file to play, up, and there's all kinds of stuff, Defender of the Crown, Bomb Jack, uh, some music for a 128, Doom Demo, The Hobbit, Jet Set Willy, Manic Miner, Outrun, Prince of Persia, Stunt Car Racer, Tornado Low Level, Theatre Europe, Thrust, all kinds of stuff. If we do a plus and a search, let's search for, I don't know, demo. Search. And there's loads of stuff with nice little pictures there. But, there you go. That is Specky Tape for the Sinclair Spectrum. I thoroughly recommend you... Uh, Use it if you're a Spectrum fan. It's very good. Thank you very much.